Welcome to Nerd Digital Brew. Welcome to lesson number four, using root commands in writing a search string. In our previous lessons, we learned about how search operators, also known as Boolean operators, work, and how we can use punctuation with keywords combined with those search operators to create the basics of a search string. Now we're going to learn how to narrow our content in even more specific ways using root commands. So a root command is going to be content, something called a root command, which allows the user to directly access specific content. Root command should always begin a search string and should be followed by keywords. For example, I can use the word file type colon and then an extension or a format. Um, so for example, I can also use site colon domain. And remember a domain is anything that is a labeled purchased um, name with an extension. I can define and then a word. I can use entitle and then a word. I can use link and then a domain. I can use in our in URL colon and then a term or author colon. Um, all of those are examples of root commands. So let's narrow those down and look at those individually because these are powerful tools. Using site colon domain. So for example, if I were to look within a site, that's called x-raying a site. Let's say I want to find only articles from the New York Times because I know that they've written some really good ones or I'm finding I've been, some prime interviews that are coming from a certain author that has only written for the New York Times. To do that, I can x-ray that site. All I need to know is the domain of the site. And then remember, a domain is a purchase name plus an extension. In this case, nytimes.com. That's the domain. It's the purchase name, nytimes, and .com is the extension that identifies it. That's how I know what my domain is. Just like with Smoky Valley, we are smokyvalley.org. That is our purchase domain the name that we've purchased plus the extension that identifies it. That's the way it works. So if I use the word site colon in a domain, any content that I write after it will find that content within that website. For example, I'm going to use the word site plus a colon plus a domain and that will look at results from only one location. Do not use spaces, that's the key. Do not put spaces between the word, the colon, and your domain. So let's look at how that's going to look. So I went and found the New York Times, and as you can see, I'm just copying the domain. So you can actually see me do that. And I'm going to write a search string. I'm going to put site, colon, New York Times. Do you see my mistake already? And I want to show you what that's going to happen when I make that mistake. I'm going to put technology and Steve Jobs. Notice I'm putting Steve Jobs in quotes because I want his specific name and the word technology. So I've got and in all caps and I'm going to create a range between the years 2009 and 2012. I want to find any articles from the New York Times concerned with Bill Gates, or excuse me, not Bill Gates, Steve Jobs. But if you look, I only get one return from the New York Times. Everything else is from different places, and that's not what I want. I want my search results all to be from the New York Times. So if I go back up, I eliminate the space, I again send my search back. Now every article that comes back is from the New York Times, and it's from that specific date range. All of them are about technology and Steve Jobs. And as you might note, each of my keywords is in bold, so it shows me how it brought back my content results. That's a powerful tool. Other root commands. Link domain. If I want to test out a website and see 
um, how trustworthy it is, or maybe I can actually find more information about websites like that, I can use what's called the link domain. It allows me to see what links are backlinked to the, a certain site or connected to that site as in a reference. So using the link command can allow you to learn what are linked or back referenced to validate that site. For example, I could put link colon smokyvalley.org and I can see all the websites that have been linked to smokyvalley.org. And I, even if I go deep into my search, you'll notice that my websites make sense. They're, they're sites that have been linked or who have smokyvalley.org within them as a link. But if I look up link martinluthering.org and I do that as a search, that's an important thing because that's a website we use as an example. It's actually a white supremacist website that has purchased that domain and it uses that domain to, to publish false information. Anytime you use the link command, you can test your site to see who's linked to it. And if you have suspicious things that are linked to your site, it gives you a, really, a real red flag as to whether you should use it or not. Remember that not all domains um, even are safe. If they're purchasable, they can be manipulated. And you have to be aware of that when you're on the internet. File type colon format. File type colon format allows me to find content that is specific in how it's put together. This root command will help you find formats such as PDF files, Excel spreadsheets, and documents. Let's say, for example, I want to find a PDF from Smoky Valley High School. Maybe it's a handout. So if I type that, if you look, I'm going to get all PDFs that are somehow connected to Smoky Valley High School. From district maps, to rules, to bell schedules, um, everything I'm brought, it's brought to me is a PDF that's been in an attachment to our website or to something connected to Smoky Valley High School, as you can see. That's a really helpful tool. Also helpful are root commands in title, colon, and a keyword, in URL, in URL colon and a keyword. What that means is they allow you to find content within website titles or within web URLs. You can look for specific content within something that wouldn't let you look normally. So for example, I'm going to use in title global warming and in URL global warming and I'm going to look for websites that have both. And if you look, the first thing I brought is a term from NASA in the URL is the word global warming and in the title of the website is the word global warming. This can be really helpful if you want to really narrow your content and look for specific things. More root commands. Using the word related plus a site allows us to find site material that is like that website. Define and term will allow us to find specific content about that term. So I'm going to use related to nasa.gov. I want to find um, sites that are like NASA. And when I use related to nasa.gov, if you look, all, all the sites I'm, fi I'm finding, although not NASA, like Hubble perhaps, are going to be specific to that content. If I use define plus a word, I'm going to find only the definition, not only the definition of the word, but anything that might define that word further. All of the content is going to be specific to that definition. That's also a handy tool. So in conclusion, root commands begin a search string if you're going to use them. We can use lots of different root commands, but they begin a search string. They can direct our search to even more specific content if especially they're followed by other uh, information or keywords connected by Boolean search terms as well as punctuation in between. Root commands are followed by keywords, Boolean search operators, punctuation to narrow that content in even more specific ways. They are great helpers when we write search strings.